This is a 13 on your side weather update. Well, the breezy, humid day here on the weather deck, but we are going to see a little bit of a change in our humidity level for Friday. Should be just fine. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the warm temperatures foreseen in this view sponsored by Tully Moore Golf Resort. Got some high clouds coming on in. These are the tops of some showers and a very weak thunderstorms coming out over Lake Michigan, but you should be OK, Connie and Mike, to take Marley and Maggie out for a walk, except right around 7 or 8 o'clock. Uh, get out early this evening. It'll be warm, though, and it'll be much better in the morning with a green paw for your morning stroll in the upper 60s. About as much sunshine tomorrow as there was today, 9.6 out of a 10 point scale to create uh, electricity from our green energy and uh, courtesy of the sun. Uh, winds will be down even more than they were yesterday and uh, today only 3.2 out of a possible uh, 10. There's your green energy report. Right, there are the showers and uh, isolated thunderstorms coming out over central and southern Lake Michigan. They're moving in generally this direction. So from Holland southward is the best threat for an evening shower or a thunderstorm may put out some heavy rain, but uh, just typical thunderstorms. These are not going to be severe by any means. All of the active weather has been pushed into the northeast and southeast US. Nonetheless, as we get in toward the end of the week, Saturday night, early Sunday morning, there is a marginal risk for severe weather here in West Michigan. We'll be updating that during the day tomorrow. And there are those showers and storms. This is 7 o'clock this evening, and then they're pretty much done by 11 o'clock. And the rest of the night will be clear. We got lots of sunshine for the most part tomorrow. There'll be more storms going down through Illinois. You'll have a brief time where you'll see some mid-level clouds right around the middle of the day, but the rest of the day will be sunny. And then as we get into uh, sat Friday night into Saturday, uh, skies will become mostly cloudy on Saturday. We're still waiting for those showers and storms to come through Saturday night and Sunday morning before they race to the south. There is that marginal risk for severe weather again Saturday night. Long range outlook from the 29th of July through August 4th still says we're going to have warmer than average temperatures, at least high chances for that. In fact, most of the country will see that and a little bit higher chance for more precipitation. I think we have one chance coming up and that'll be early in that seven day period uh, for tonight, though, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, letting and heart down through about Muskegon or so. There's that isolated uh, thunderstorm Holland South Haven in the next uh, two hours or so, and you'll eventually see skies clearing out with overnight lows in the mid 60s. Up north, low 60s here under mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. You'll be able to open the windows because uh, dew points will be dropping the rest of the night. And here in the greater Grand Rapids zone, we're looking at overnight lows in the mid 60s. This is the uh, uh, areas where there will be the best chance for an isolated thunderstorm, uh, generally from about Holland southward make it into Allegan and Hastings, and if they hold together, they'll get into Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. 13 on your side forecast. Up to 87 tomorrow, 90 on a Saturday. That green bar indicates an active weather day for that marginal risk of Saturday night. It'll be breezy and a humid, uh, humid conditions returning. Uh, the humidity uh, drops in the afternoon on a Sunday. So do our chances of rain by late afternoon. Uh, we'll be in the low 80s much of next week, Monday, Tuesday, briefly more humid next Wednesday. That'll be another chance of some showers and storms. About half the area will see that uh, sunny then Thursday through the following a Sunday as we warm back up into the low and mid 80s. We know those waves were a big problem yesterday. I was out there on the lakeshore, so I can definitely speak to that. Yeah, certainly pretty powerful sight, but uh, George, things do seem to have calmed down uh, just a bit. Yeah, the winds came down yesterday evening and the waves have been uh, more tolerable here today, but we're tracking some showers and storms right now across the area. Uh, 13 weather ball tonight is a green. No change to the temperatures through the weekend foreseen. A little bit of a relief from the humidity on your Friday and this view sponsored by Tully Moore Golf Resort. Highs today, mid 80s at the lakeshore, upper 80s inland. Our average high is 83, so we exceeded that. We came within three degrees of our forecast high. We forecast 85 for today, six days in a row where we have uh, done that uh, for the month of July and also for the summer season. We are about three tenths of a degree warmer than average. That's uh, pretty close to an average summer. A big deficit in the rainfall by almost an inch and a half and 18% less sunshine than we should have up to this point in the month. Every third Thursday of the month, we get the 30 and 90 day outlook. This is for August high uh, chances for warmer than average temperatures and a very high chance that we'll see less 
precipitation. So continued warm and dry. Very similar for the 90 day outlook from August through October. High chances that it will be warm and a pretty high chance that will stay dry as well. So a, a warm and dry start to the season of autumn. Uh, this complex of storms that have come out over central Lake Michigan is heading off to the south and east may affect the Holland area here in the next couple of hours. Here's our model bringing it closer to Holland by about seven o'clock and uh, there'll be a couple of more developing from about South Haven southward through about 11 o'clock to the north. No worries, just clear skies should be a beautiful evening. Lots of clear skies the rest of the night and tomorrow plenty of sunshine all the way around. No threat of any storms that changes a little bit as we get into Saturday and look for uh, clear skies here Friday night and then increasing clouds on Saturday, but now no rain on Saturday. As we mentioned yesterday, all of the showers and storms will come overnight Saturday night through Sunday morning as they push off to the south. Uh, one of those storms on Saturday night could be on the stronger side. We have a marginal risk, which is a category one out of five for that. The best risk for the highest risk for severe weather will be back in Wisconsin. Something to uh, think about uh, as you plan your Saturday night activities during the day. Tomorrow we'll start out with sunshine. There may be a brief time where there's be some mid level clouds around the middle of the day. Highs will be in the low 80s and north, but you'll notice the big change in a brief break from the humidity. A mid 80s from Muskegon and Holland to southward. The winds will be uh, much lighter out of the south and southwest. Up north, you can expect uh, temperatures uh, to be up into the mid 80s. Again, a little bit of break from the humidity, so not a bad day. Very nice summer day. Uh, morning sunshine, few clouds around the middle of the day, and then we'll end the day with lots of sun as well. Similarly, here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we'll be in the mid 80s within a degree or two of what we saw today. Warmest will be down in Kalamazoo at 88. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> Around 90 on Saturday, we highlighted Saturday with that green bar. That's an active weather day with that marginal risk for severe weather Saturday night. It'll be breezy and the humidity returns Saturday and it sticks around through Sunday morning as those showers and storms depart. We'll hit 82 Sunday. We'll be in the low 80s Monday, Tuesday, and the humidity back with us for a little bit on a Wednesday, and that's our next best chance for showers and storms. Uh, for Thursday and Friday should be very comfortable. Lots of sunshine even next weekend as we climb back into the low and mid 80s.